Well, good day, farmers. Welcome back to Weed Sim Saturday. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, welcome back to your weekly garden update. Must be Wednesday. So we've had some corn start down here all of a sudden. I don't know why it took so long. It probably doesn't like this branch. I should have nipped him off before we planted stuff. And uh, just this one here, and it probably would have let. I have a lot more light. This would be in light now where it's not because of that guy, right? So there's a full time job after this all gone for us. But anyways, update for you. We had a major, major, major rainstorm come through. It was, it just demolished. Some of them have come back actually, but the, the poor potato plants just got just smushed. They're like squashed right to the ground pretty much. I think they'll still be all right. Seems down there they didn't, um, I don't know, it was more violent here than down there. I don't know, weird, but uh, even the red ones here, they got kind of mushed, but they got some nice flowers on them right now. So hopefully they'll trigger some potatoes. But what I'm gonna do is um, this first plant here, let's just have a little look and see what we got going on down in here. We got any potatoes started yet or, oh, look at there. Lucky there. Go away, mosquito. There's a potato there. Sweet. Okay, we'll leave them for now. Imagine we eat things out of the dirt like that, eh? Blech. Anyways, <laughs> uh, when we go to harvest these, I'll uh, probably put on a real thick pair of gloves because there is glass in here. Peace, where did it go? Uh, right there. There is glass in here. So, um, our neighbor told me stories about the old house that was here before this one was built this was apparently a big gully here they just mushed it all down in the hole here and then covered it over with uh, you know with whatever so there's a nice killing piece there like oh my goodness but anyways uh, grass and rocks so I've got a lot of work to do uh, after this is all done if we're gonna use this spot again to try to get these rocks filtered out of here but anyways, potatoes, uh, they're probably going to be all right. These ones seem better down here. Uh, tomatoes are doing good. Everything's kind of sort of mushed together right now because of the stuff all fell down here, right? But uh, yeah, they're uh, just got mushed. So hopefully they're going to be all right. But tomatoes aren't doing too bad. Um, I still have some flowers here. So, and she's dusted some stuff because we do have a little bit of a bug happening on here and she's really concerned about it i'll show you in a second uh, boy i don't even know if i can get through i'll go through here but anyways let's go back to the corn corn's not doing bad she's she's just dusted it with some baby powder which i don't think is going to do anything but more tomatoes so ours they're pretty much equal now surprisingly i think i don't even remember what it was now somewhere up there is uh, the father-in-law's ones from there up and then these are the ones i did in little peat pots and they seem to talk right off now so I'm not seeing any tomatoes yet though but see some flowers which is good we're gonna have a whole pile of them all of a sudden I bet but corn is just not to be blunt but wiener height we'll say <laughs> waist height how about that that's better <laughs> waist height and uh, yeah so it's I don't know if we're gonna get anything out of this something's been eating the corn here too though you can see the leaf is and kind of shredded there a little bit so that's not so good here the, they've been eating it probably a slug or something maybe there's something living down in here by the looks of things I don't know I'm not a corn expert it's just uh, you know let's grab a couple of packs throw it and see what happens uh, whenever I've grown corn it never seems to grow any taller than this though I don't know there's something cursed with our land here and I don't know what it is and then down here, it's in the sun even more. You think it'd be even higher, but it's not. And I don't even remember planting corn down this far, so <laughs> I don't know why it's way down here. Oh man! But these potatoes aren't looking aren't looking too bad. Let's. Uh, where's the oof, go away mosquitoes? Oh my goodness! There's the stalks. Oh my goodness! Mosquitoes. So let's see if we got uh, anything down here yet. Ripping my fingers open. There might be something. No, that's dirt. Oh, there's a little dried up seashell. Huh, snail shell. That's interesting. Okay, I don't want to dig in too far there, but I'd like to see if there's something happening here on these. 
Gotta be something down in here that ruined the plant. Hmm. Oh, there's one there. See him? Little guy? They're not ready yet. They need more swelling time. But uh, yeah, these are the Yukons, and then down there we did that one row of those red things. But look at the pumpkin this week. It has taken right off. It's almost going to be hard to. Uh, so every night, I'll tell you this every night, she moves this metal stake. So it's grown that far in one night. Well, that's pretty good. I'm going to move it again. We're trying to keep them going kind of out towards the this way <laughs> so it doesn't grow towards everything else so they've got some flower things coming though i see but uh we've got this weird bug on these things and they're eating there you can see them right there There's one of those little turds right there they're eating the plant up and that's apparently not good but you can see we got some flowers coming there's one there one there one here on the stem so there's quite a few flowers coming, which is good. Looks like another vine starting this way. But uh, hopefully we get a, a male coming. You can tell the male and the females with those. I think we're just all females. Males will start with that little bulge. Or no, sorry, the females start with a little bulge and the male is just the flower. Sorry, my, my bad, wrong way, wrong way. And uh, weeds are growing. <laughs> We've had to water it quite a few times with the sprinkler and it's uh, pretty good because that sprinkler will get um, Pretty much from one side to the other so look at that i'm already over my uh five minute video so we'll cut her off here our little i know they look like weeds but these are little green pepper plants they're sort of not doing super too good yet so i don't know what's going on with them they may not like it there i don't know and uh, i'll show you my poor little tree i got them over here kind of in the shade a little bit it's still green but He's not looking so good. <laughs> he is not looking so good. Poor guy. I don't. Oops, sorry. I don't know what to do about him. <sighs> groom and groom and groom and I don't know. He didn't uh, seem to do too good when I put him in the garden out in front yard here, this spot, and then I took him out because he didn't look so good. And he hasn't. He's gotten somewhat worse, but I think it's probably not going to do too well here. So I'll have to try to start another one, maybe. Maybe this winter, keep them inside a bit longer or something, but... <sighs> Anyways, there's your garden update for Wednesday. Thanks again for watching. Catch you all next week. You guys have a good week.